working in a newsroom or in a production environment, it's really, really important that everyone in the system can collaborate and work really closely together. With Media Composer and Media Central, that collaboration really is the best it can be. So here I'm inside of Media Composer, and what you can see inside Media Composer is that I have access to the Media Central system, and that's because I have the Media Central Cloud UX panel uh, inside of Media Composer. Now this enables a range of different workflows, and that's what we're going to take a look at um, today. Inside the panel, I have access to the Browse app, so I can navigate through folders, and we'll look at that. I also have access to the Search app, so I can search through everything. And I also have access now to Media Central Collaborate, and we'll look at how that can enable some great story-centric workflows here as well. But the very first thing is, you know, I'm in Media Composer, I'm in my project, uh, perhaps I want to go and find some video footage. So let's go ahead and do that. So using the Browse app, uh, I can navigate through folders. So here I'm looking at my Media Central Production Management System. So I can navigate into a particular folder. Here's the Media folder, for example. And I can go into this Drone Shots folder, into this Aerials area. And I can simply then take a couple of clips from here and very easily just drag them directly into my bin. That then gives me access to the clips which are here. And of course, I can then come in and I can work with them. And you can see in these clips, they have these little red dots. These are, of course, markers, which have been added by users in Media Central Cloud UX. So the pass through of metadata between Media Central Cloud UX and Media Composer is instant. And again, we'll take a look at how that can be used for perhaps getting some review and approval workflows uh, as part of what we're going to do here as well. Now, of course, as an editor, I can simply come in, I can create a sequence, and I can go off and I can begin to work. But perhaps I want to pick up something that's been done by a user in Media Central Cloud UX, uh, and then take that and begin to work on it. So, you know, the start of these real collaborative workflows. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go back uh, into my Media Central Cloud UX browse app. So again, here you see I get a breadcrumb trail. And this time I'm going to go to Projects and I'm going to go to Users, and here I have my own Users folder, and I'm going to go into this, and what I want to do is I want to take, you know, one of the sequences from here. Now you can see here I have access to all of the different content that we have here, but I have an Edits folder, and if I go into that Edits folder, here is my America's Coast um, package that's been done by a user in Media Central Cloud UX. I want to use it, really easy. I can simply drag it directly into my bin, and then from here, double click, and that, of course, loads it directly into the timeline. Now here you can see there's you know a couple of shots that have been laid down. There's also some effects that have been applied. There's some audio and video effects that you can do inside of Media Central Cloud UX. But perhaps I need access to more footage. So what I can do simply, of course, is I can just match frame. That then takes me back to the original shot. These are the unedited rushes. And you can see here, I also have access to everything. Now I can also display this in the bin because I can simply right click in the bin, go to set bin display, and then choose to show reference clips. And when I do that, there you see in the bin. And what you can see is I now have the Bulgaria coastline shot, which is what I have loaded in my source monitor. And I also have access to the music because this, um, uh, this little sequence has also got some music on it as well. So of course, from here now, I've got the freedom to do you really whatever I want, okay? So I can come in here. I'm just gonna just add a couple of shots here. Um, so of course I can mark it out and I can add you know this particular shot in. I'm not gonna go into the specifics of editing in, in Media Composer. It is of course a very high-end tool. You can do everything from simple news packages all the way up to you know Hollywood, Hollywood feature films. And of course, with Media Composer Enterprise, we also have the option of completely customizing what you can do inside of Media Composer. So you should really check that out in some specific videos we have about the capabilities of Media Composer Enterprise. So here, again, I'm just going to add another shot in, and there's the other shot that's been added. So now what I want to do is I want to share this with other users who are working in the system because I want to get a bit of feedback on what they think of the changes that I've made. Now, all I need to do to do this is simply come here. I can right click in the source monitor and I get this option of check into production management. And what that's going to do is just register the sequence in the database, make it available for anybody else to see. 
So what are the kind of workflows that we can do in terms of this kind of collaboration? So to show you this, I'm just going to switch over for a second to Media Central Cloud UX and imagine I'm a producer or I'm a reporter and I want to take a look at this sequence and I want to add some comments to it that I want the editor to be able to access. So now I'm switching to Media Central Cloud UX. So now here I am inside Media Central Cloud UX and you can see I'm in the same folder that the editor was uh, was working in. And here I can see the America's Coast um, sequence. So if I double click to load this uh, into my video player, I can also of course bring up the timeline. I can see in the timeline the extra shots that have been added. And of course I can come in here, let me just hide this panel and I'm just gonna play the video back. So there it is with the music. And here come the couple of extra shots that have been added as well. So actually I think, you know, there's a shot change here that I don't think we need. So I want to tell the editor that, that I think they should go and change this. Now, of course, one of the things about Media Central Cloud UX is you've got lots of configuration you can do with the display. So here, for example, I'm going to take the panel below the uh, video player and I'm just going to pop it to the side here because what I want to do now is go to the storyboard view and I'm actually going to add some markers here. So I'm going to add a marker and I'm going to put in to say change this shot. So there, I've added the marker in. Let me go a little bit later in this, this sequence and see if there's anything else that I think you should do. So again, here we've maybe got the graphic that's coming up. So again, here, this time I can do it using the keyboard. And so here I'm going to say, take out the graphic. Now I don't need to do really anything else other than add this in. Um, you know, I don't need to do any import, export or anything like that. You saw that the access I had to the sequence was um, instantaneous. So then I've gone in, I've added uh, a couple of comments and now how does the editor access that? Let's switch back to Media Composer. So here I am back in Media Composer again and again I'm looking at the same sequence. And now what I need to do is go in here and select to update from production management. So there you see immediately the markers appear on my timeline. And I can of course click on the markers to see the comments, or of course I can view the markers window. So from the tools menu, I can select markers and it then brings them up. So again, I can see the markers here. Now again, this is happening instantaneously, directly as soon as I added the markers in Media Central Cloud UX, I can then just update in Media Composer and I can then go in and I can see the comments and of course, you know, double click takes you directly to the time code of the particular marker. So that's one way that we can collaborate where I've got a sequence that's cut inside Media Central Cloud UX. I can pick that up inside Media Composer, can make some changes to it, can then check it in. But then the user in Media Central Cloud UX, the reporter, the producer, you know, whoever, can then review it and add comments in. So I don't need to export anything, I don't need to upload or download anything. It's simply about sharing metadata and it's instantaneous. So that's one workflow, looking at how we can use Media Central inside of Media Composer. Let's look at another workflow. This time we're going to take a look at using the search functionality. So now inside of the Media Central Cloud UX panel in Media Composer, let's take a look at the search functionality. So the search functionality allows me to do a whole variety of different things. It's really, really powerful. So for example, I can quickly apply just some filters you can see down here on the left-hand side. And these aren't just for things like created and modified. I can also filter to search on different systems, for example. You can see here, I could use to search just inside my video production system. I could also search just for certain types of assets um, as well. And so here I can go in and I can simply come in and I can type. So here I'm searching any, and this is searching any metadata that we have in the system. So let's go ahead and search for coastline. There you can see it easily returns results for me. Now I can just simply double click on the clip and that will load it into the source monitor for me, or I can go and I can drag it directly into the bin itself. So I've just gone in and done a simple search there. It's also worth mentioning that I also have access here to a history of searches. So I can see all the different searches I've done before, but I also have access to favorite searches. So here, for example, you know, I've already created a search that's looking for these particular words. So again, I simply click on it 
it will then go off and it will find me that particular shot. So if you have got favorite searches, you know, it's really, really easy to use them uh, and to uh, go and find really what you need really, really quickly. And again, same as before, I can either double click to load in the source monitor, here it pops up, tells me restrictions. Again, restrictions are things which are added uh, inside Media Central Cloud UX. So that exchange of metadata is, uh, is always there. And there is the clip. Again, the other thing I can do, just drag and drop it straight into the bin. So that's looking at, you know, favorite searches. The search functionality in the Media Central Cloud UX panel is, you know, really advanced. So for example, as well as my own searches, I can then also create other types of searches. We could have public searches. So this is a search that everybody has access to, or you can have searches which are just for individual groups of users. So for example, here, I've set up an audio search. And what is that going to do? Well, one of the capabilities in the Media Central Cloud UX system is the ability to do phonetic searching. So let me double click on this. It's going to run a search and it's going to bring me back some results. And what's this doing? It's actually searching both in this case in the metadata for the word doc, but it's also then searching in the audio for these words as well. So here you can see that I've got a result. I can then actually preview the results here. I can bring up the metadata. So you can see here it's in the name, but then I can preview what's in the timeline. And here it's showing me there are a couple of mentions of these words actually in the timeline itself. So I can select here to open the clip. That's going to load it into the source monitor. And then of course, all I need to do here is simply go to the time code, hit return, play the clip back. Glee. Um, and, we've and there you can see it's taking me directly to that particular word because we're doing phonetic searching. We're searching directly in the audio. So the search functionality in the Media Central Cloud UX panel in Media Composer, very, very advanced. You can do simple searching. You can do complex searching with Boolean searches. You can then have search favorites for yourself for public searches. And you can also have a history of searches. And as I've shown, I can search in metadata and I can also search uh, in uh, the audio um, as well. So now let's take a look at Media Central Collaborate and how that can help users work in a story centric way, but it can also help wider teams just collaborate and work more easily together. So in the Media Central Collaborate app here, I can see the planner view, and this is showing me all of the things which are going on within the system itself. Now, I'm not going to dive into the details of Media Central Collaborate here. Please check out the other videos that we have around it to see its real capabilities. What I'm quickly going to do just now is I'm going to filter to just search for my own material. So just click on the little filter button here with my name. That then filters and then shows me all of the different what are called topics or assignments where I have been added. So I can see here I've got this coastal erosion assignment I've been added to. If I double click on this, it takes me into the assignment. So I can see here there is a task that I've been tasked to do. And if I double click on this to open it up, it's asking me to do a piece on the coastal erosion story. Now this is highlighted as something which is new. Uh, well, I want to change that status because I'm now working on this. And this of course now is something which is in progress. So I can simply update that to say that it's in progress. You can also see here that I have a date and a time, a deadline for when I need to do this. But you see on the left hand side here, we have this area. This is what's called the container uh, inside Media Central Collaborate. And it's saying there isn't any media for this assignment yet. I'm going to quickly switch across to Media Central Cloud UX and show you just how easy it is for a user working there to then share content with an editor in Media Composer. So let's switch over to Media Central Cloud UX again. So here I am in Media Central Cloud UX and I'm looking at the Media Central Collaborate app. I'm actually in the same assignment. So it's very easy for me to take anything from here. Let's just grab some shots from here and I can simply add these in to the container. And what this is going to do is that this is then going to update the editor in Media Composer and of course, any other user who's using Media Composer or Media Central Cloud UX to then see that this material is here. It's a very simple way for sharing of material between different users. Now there I've just taken some, you know, unedited rushes that, that we've taken into the system, but this could be anything. It could be master clips, it could be sub clips. It could even be a sequence. So here I also have a sequence. I can drag that into the container and I can add that in as well. So there I've gone in in Media Central Cloud UX and I've added some content. Let's see how the editor can access that 
in Media Composer. So I'm back inside Media Composer. All I need to do here, hit the refresh button, and there immediately I can see I have the content that has been added. So again, from here, as I mentioned before, simply drag it into the bin, gives me access to the content, and there I can go on and I can continue to work. So this is how I can use Media Central Cloud UX and Media Composer to easily share material between the two different uh, users, the editor in Media Composer, the producer reporter perhaps working in Media Central Cloud UX, how they can use the Browse app to go in and navigate and search through folders, use the search functionality to search not just in metadata, but also in audio, and to use things like favorite searches. We also have automated refresh searches as well, so a search will run all the time to bring in new material. And finally, also looking at Media Central Collaborate in Media Composer as well. So that's just some of the collaboration workflows with Media Composer Enterprise and Media Central Cloud UX.